Voices, Amagone. We honor His Majesty. Lift your hands, Amandaya. Once you have hands, lift your hands. Kiteya, Muguna, Monso Torianda, Keteya. Holy Lord. One more time. Go ahead. Go ahead. We say, we say, you are the Lord. You are the Lord. Son of the morning. Heaven's darling, sweet rose of Sharon, the lion, the lamb, me go
Shaba Mama Kutoka Mama. Nele. Yes. Lift your voices. One more Shakandana. We are in the throne room of the living God. Translation have already taken place. Shakile. Shakora. Hey. We are in the throne room. We are in the throne room. Father in heaven, we bring every soul into one place tonight. By the authority of God, I break the power 
of every scattering in the name of Jesus. I cancel every assignment set against this gathering today. In the name of Jesus, I uproot flags. I pull down strongholds. Ketemogona, Raban Sokondaya. I scatter contrary winds. Kahibre, Seketo Komela, Shagandana, Rambo Kosha. Sakamanda, Menebasha. There is a warfare in the atmosphere that is raging against your breakthrough tonight. There is a warfare that is raging against your breakthrough tonight. In the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Ghost, with the authority we carry inside of us, Sekanda, Motea, Motea Bola, Motea Boya, where are the warriors? Where are the warriors of Pihopai? Where are the warriors of Pihopai? Where are the warriors of Shakandaya? Where are the violent ones? Where are the violent ones? Shake, pray, 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 pray. Shakuna, metokona, matoya. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, what you want to do now, this is a totally different old last night service. Our nation is under attack to be destroyed. Shake Monta, your nation is under attack to be destroyed. Mary, you go now. While we live as a church, it shall not happen. Mark Ondela, we are looking for some warriors. The Lord is looking for some warriors who will stand between the living and the dead. The Lord Bakashandaya, will you lift your voices tonight? The Lord is looking for some warriors. The Lord Basho Robo Shakaya. The Lord, the living God, is looking for warriors. Will he find an intercessor and be hopeful tonight? Will God find an intercessor and be hopeful tonight? Will the Lord? Expose that which is covered. Come on, pray. 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 Shanaroi. We cancel every assignment of destruction to Trinidad and Tobago. In the name of Jesus, we speak to the four winds against our nation. We command the winds to be still in the name of Jesus. We destroy all cultic houses. We destroy, we command the dragon to starve. We speak destruction to the dragon. He who loves blood and innocent blood in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost, we declare war. Satan's war. Oh, Manola, in the name 
name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Before you sit, I'm gonna call Sarah. So I come. When she comes, Sarah. Come on, Mama, go then. Once Sarah come pray. Because I'm the youngest of the oldest. This whole nation shall be baptized in prayer. The Neka Tokai Shakondana Manore. Out of the mouth of Babe and Sucre. In all this. Lord today, Lord today me be not pleased. Lord may next year be more of God, O oh Lord. Lord may more people be of God, O oh Lord. May no kiss and develop in this earth, O oh Lord. May yes. all the people in this earth be of God, O oh Lord. And when we leave, may may we not leave the same, O oh Lord. Yes. And next year. And next year, may more people be of Lord, yes. of the Lord, oh Lord, Amen. 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 Somebody amen. shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody else shout hallelujah. If you are warrior, shout hallelujah. If you are warrior, this somebody a high five. Come on, share the high five. You may have your seats. Wow. Hallelujah. It's time for us to break through. It's time for us to break out. Mira, yo, yo, yo. Honey, all are gone. Hallelujah. Well, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Everything one time. Wow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, hey, hey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. 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 Blessed be the name of the living God. We honor him who lives forever. Many have been the prophetic words given to our nation. Many have been the curses released against our nation. For either one to come to pass, it depends on us, the church. His word declares that Whatsoever we bind on the earth is bound in the heavens. Nothing happens on the earth without prayer. Nothing happens without prayer. You can be a Christian and walk in this earth defeated and make it to heaven. We have chosen as a church not to walk in the defeat of the enemy. We'll take all that is ours and more. Hello. Hello. We have been living way below. Hebrew Sakamanta. That is why from the youngest to the oldest. Shall know what it is to have a relationship with God in this assembly. No person called to pray will be fidgeting wondering what to say. It's not about public prayer, but private relationship. So the enemy have been seemingly ravaging our nation. Every day, yes, the numbers have dropped from last year, but yet the numbers are still too high. The Bible says that Elijah, the king of Assyria, he said to his people that, 
Someone is telling the king of Israel or king of Judah, I think, what is happening. One of them said, no. What you are doing in your bed chamber, the Lord is sharing it with the silver and the prophet. As a nation, we ought not to be caught by surprise. If we are spending time with God, why Mahito said one to me? Why Makite said the bandokono? While Elijah, while the, the Lord, the God had said, Whom shall we send? Where was the prophet located to say, Here am I, send me? Your place of intimacy positions you to hear the secrets of God, even the plans of God. Let's go on a short journey because we want to do a lot of praying tonight. We are starting. I know there are many would leave. We want to wrap up by 11. It's 9.25. But there are those who may want to stay back. There's no problem with that. But most of us, I want every person here, just a moment, just to close your eyes a second and think back to earliest night last year. Just a minute. Think back to your midnight last year. Think back to the promises that you made. You have been allowed another year. Many of them have been fulfilled. You can open your eyes now. I want you to think of that which you have prayed for or have written down have not been fulfilled as yet. But yet the promises of God, they are yea and amen. God's promises are yea and amen. None of his words shall fall to the ground. So I said, what do we talk about tonight? And only yesterday he sat and he just started to talk to me about something. that he wants all of us to hear tonight. Because all of us have been there. Some of us are there this very moment. In the last year especially in the last couple of months, he had been talking to us about forgiveness. Because the whole earth needs to practice forgiveness. Most of us have held most of us have held unforgiveness. Welcome, moms. Welcome. <laughs> Come to surprise me. <laughs> Welcome, darling. Most of us have held unforgiveness in our hearts. Even some of us from childhood. And that unforgiveness has shaped us. So much so that it has also shaped our children and the generations. Because we have chosen not to forgive. The Lord told me tonight to talk about chosen. 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 Because we tend to have a tendency to Wherever we are located in a negative way, we tend to question whether we have been chosen or not. We do that because of the circumstances that we are in now. And we forget where we were. And we live for where we are. Forgetting that the same God yesterday, Pastor G, is the same God today and the same God forevermore. Go with me to Genesis chapter 30, verse 11. Katibonga nele sikandaya. Verse 10. So, Leah had made four children. And stop childbearing after she had Judah. And then God opened Rachel's womb and she had two. And then Leah took her maid, Zilpah, and offered her to her husband to continue childbearing. And this seventh child, next verse, then Leah said, A troop 
comes. So she called his name God. The seventh son, she called God. And this son, she named him a troop. A troop is a company of soldiers that are led by a captain. A troop. Give me the King James Version, please. Right? Let's read a Genesis chapter 49, 19. Let's see what happens. She called his name God. In declaring what the generations would do. The servant of God declares, God, a troop shall overcome him, but he shall overcome at last. Underline that. The Lord is talking about chosen. God, a troop shall overcome him, but, somebody say but. The Bible says, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. A troop shall overcome him, but he shall overcome at the last. But this God, let's read Deuteronomy 33, 11. Let's read instead 1 Chronicles 12 verse 8. Let's see about this tribe called God. Who they are. Who they represent. 1 Chronicles 12 verse 8. Chosen. Somebody say I'm chosen. Tell somebody next to you I'm chosen. I am chosen. It matters not what I've been through. I'm still here. While I'm here, I have life. Because I'm chosen. I'm chosen. Kanane bo shekandilene. First Chronicles 12 8. 12 8. First Chronicles 12 8. 12 8. 12 8. And of the Gadites, the tribe of God, they call them Gadites here. They are separated unto themselves. They are separated themselves unto David. Into the hold of the wilderness. They were men of might and men of war. Fit for battle. These Gadites could handle shield and butler. Whose faces were like the faces of lions and were swift as the rose upon the mountain. So that God, whose name means troop, his generation were known as warriors. Us in Bihopai, we are known as warriors. Hello, Bihopai. You have taken, gotten two weeks in the two weeks, many things have happened. In the two weeks you have gotten, just not gathering, many things have happened. Tell your neighbor, many things have happened. Tell somebody, many things, else, somebody else, many things have happened. Yeah, many things. We gather, we know the inferno that burns here. We come, it's not as hot as we left it. Many things have happened. Many things have happened. But we serve the same God, right? Who never changes. So, so put the scripture back up. Please. So this year, it speaks of the generation called the Gadites. Those who have been marked from birth. The Bible says that a troop shall overcome him. But he shall overcome at last. So he has been chosen.
to be the servant. Even though the servants of God had many more, he have chosen to be the servant. We are the culmination of this year, 2023. After seven, another one starts. So eight starts as one. <laughs> Somebody said chosen. Somebody else say I'm chosen. I'm chosen. Come in, Boshi, Maganadaganian. Look, chapter 8. Let's read from verse 25 and see something. Chosen from birth, marked for greatness. Mm, the man of man is this. <laughs> right. So Jesus at this time, he spoke to the elements. You know of him speaking to people and they are being healed. Okay, go back to the two verses. Let's just see something. 23. But as they fell, they sailed. He, Jesus, fell asleep. And there came down a storm of wind on the lake. And they were all filled with water. And were in jeopardy. Jeopardy. Go ahead. Jeopardy. <laughs> and they came to him and awoke him saying, Master, Master, we perish. Then he arose and rebuked the wind and the raging of the water and they ceased. So he spoke to the wind and he spoke to the water and they ceased and there was a calm. They were accustomed with him healing blind eyes and those who have leprosy and all these things. But now they're experiencing another part of authority. Go next verse. And he, Jesus, said to them, Where is your faith? And they, being afraid, wondered, saying one to another, What manner of man is this? What manner of man did God create? that spoke and knew the names that God had given to the animals. What manner of man was Adam in the garden that didn't see a need to seek a wife? What manner of man was fashioned first as we know it? Manner of man is that. You can speak to the winds and the clouds and all of that. So they're saying, what man of man is this? Because this man is the second Adam that came to point us back to origin, to who we are as children of God. You all here tonight? Or you all tired from painting and all of that? It's hard from eating. <laughs> For he commanded even the winds and water and they obey him. Next verse, come. We're going on a wonderful journey. Somebody say, I'm chosen. And they arrived at the country of the Gadarenes. Somebody say, Gadarenes. We have read that God, the seventh child that from the, the servant of Leah, had been named a troop. We have heard that they had faces like lions, they were warriors. We have heard that they were swift. They function in a certain authority. Now we are going into their territory. From Genesis now into the New Testament, we are in the territory of those who were swift. And so on. So they arrived at the country of the gatherings, which is over against Galilee. Next verse. And when he went forth, to land. They met him out of a city, a certain man. This man is of the tribe of the Gadites, right? This man. Which had devils long time. And he wear no clothes, neither abode in any house. But in the tombs. Give me New King's English, please. Don't lose. So you are being chosen from childhood. You have come 
into knowing what your identity is. But on your way to your destiny, you see, most persons do not like pastors. Most persons, I heard someone ministering recently, he was saying, it's not an issue to give your lawyer. We are lawyers here. Pay them the covenant so much, 2,000 an hour, they'll pay that easily. It's not easy to bring a contractor. He charge you 150000 to pay him easily. But the minute you give something to a pastor, everybody's angry. But the thing is, when the baby is born, you bring the baby to the pastor to offer back to God, right? When that baby come a man and is dead, you carry it by a contractor. You carry a dead body by your lawyer. Come straight back to the pastor. That you oppose so much. So, go back. We we'll back up for me. So this, right? When he stepped out on the land, there met him a certain man from the city, a Gadite, who had demons for a long time. He wore no clothes, nor did he live in a house, but in the tombs. We are talking about a man who is naked, a man that does not have a roof over his head, that is living among the dead. I asked myself when I was writing this yesterday, where's his wife and does he have children? Family. And I don't remember a study. If this man, okay, next verse. Come, next verse. First. When he saw Jesus, he cried out, fell down before him, and with a loud voice said, what have I to do with you, Jesus? Son of the most high God. I beg you, do not torment me. Next verse. For he, Jesus, had commanded the unclean spirit to come out of the man. For it had often seized him, and he was kept under guard, bound with chains and shackles, and he broke the bonds and was driven by the demon into the wilderness. Every infiltration of the enemy is to isolate you, to destroy you. Whether you are called or not, the aim of Satan is for your destruction. That's why man ought always to pray and not lose heart or not faith. So he was, had a supernatural demonic power that was bursting chains and bursting ropes. No wonder there's no mention of his family. Which family here want to stare around a man like that? They don't even know when he'll behave like that. So he found, but the funny thing is, the demons that led him, led him into the wilderness. <laughs> Pharaoh, Kito Samagandaya. The Lord told the Israelites when they left Goshen, he, saw, he directed them to go to Ahiroth, right before the Red Sea. Pharaoh and his men, they said ignorantly that the wilderness have blocked them in. Whenever you are directed by God, every wilderness is a doorway. Whenever God leads you, nothing can box you. Hello, when God Makebosha, you are not hearing. You see, you did not reach to this month, this day by chance. How many have died? It is recorded yesterday that a 14 year old killed two men. Shoot them to death yesterday. A 14 year old. You think you are by chance that you're here tonight. Somebody say, I'm chosen. I'm chosen, I'm chosen. So he was driven to be away from civilization. Next verse, come, next verse. Jesus asked him, saying, What is your name? And he said, Legion. 
because many demons had entered him. The word legion also is a similar word to the word troop. God was named troop. The word legion, I wrote it here, it talks about 6,100 foot soldiers and, somebody say and, and 726 horsemen. 600, 6,100 foot soldiers. 726 horsemen. So he is carrying inside of him a legion of demons. But yet he has been marked as one. The Bible says that a troop shall overcome him. This Godite is overcome by demonic spirits. But yet they cannot kill him. Satan cannot kill you. Hello, somebody. Hello. No demon could kill you. Your destiny is in the hands of Almighty God. Somebody should shout hallelujah. Somebody else should shout hallelujah. God is my refuge. God is my strength. God is my breakthrough. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Next verse. We are going on a journey. Come. And the demons begged Jesus that he would not command them to go out, go out into the abyss or to be removed from their territory. Next verse, come. A herd of many swine was feeding there on the mountain. So they begged him that he would permit them. No demon can just come into your life. There must be some form of invitation, whether voluntarily or involuntarily. Hello, somebody. And he permitted them. Next verse. Then the demons went out of the man and entered the swine. And the herd ran violently down. The sea placed into the lake and drowned. This man was of the tribe chosen. The tribe functioned. They were like armor bearers concerning David. But yet still, the chosen man found himself under the influence of the kingdom of darkness. Let's go further. Let's go further. Furthermore, let's give me Jeremiah 1 5. Hmm. Every person, please hear what God is saying to us, right? The Lord is saying to Jeremiah, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Let us sink in, right? Let us sink in. Before God formed you in your mother's womb, before the egg and the sperm came together, he knew you. Think of that, right? Before you were born, I sanctified you. I, God, ordained you a prophet to the nations. Before I formed you, I knew you. All of us were chosen before conception. Somebody say, I've been chosen before conception. Yes, man. Somebody else say, I've been chosen before conception. But hear this. Oh, Lord, I'm feeling God so strongly. Hallelujah. The enemy cannot attack you before conception. The enemy can target you in the womb. He can try to block your conception, but he cannot touch you. If you have to come, you are coming. Hello! The decree of the
the Lord stands. Yeah. He can target you when he finds his conception. He can try to block the conception. Can I touch you from being conceived? God is the one that allows you to come here. Hello, somebody. Most of us here, we know of James. And as I said this, I remember, Lord, have me to listen back to something that James said. James Kawala. He was saying that his mother had six boys. Six girls, sorry. She wanted a boy. His mother, his husband, his father was wealthy. One son of some wealthy person. And she wanted a son so badly because in her heart she expected that it would divorce her if she continues to make girls. She was trying to get a son through whatever means. Whether the occult or not, she just wanted a son. Six girls needed a son because of the culture of the day. She was told that if she go down to a certain nation in a forest by those who operate in the occult, she would get a son. She went down to that nation and they told her that she needs to consecrate herself for seven days before she can meet the head priestess. The consecration means that you must stay naked in the forest for seven days. You cannot eat cooked food. She did that. And when the turn came to see this occultic person, the person said to her, go away. I will not help you. She left. And when she left, she looked in the sky and a thought came to her. You will have a son. So she went back to the people who were registering and asked to meet the person again. They said to her, you need to go back and consecrate yourself again seven days. Because there were politicians and all these who sought dark help that went through the same consecration process. She went back for seven days. When her turn came, the lady said, I remember you. She said, I can help you, but I see in the spirit that you have a son. But he's very far in the rocks. And there is a strange star on him. If I bring him out, he'll be a problem to our powers. Somebody say I'm marked. Somebody say I'm marked by God. Somebody else shout I'm marked, I'm marked by God. This young man who his mother sought a boy she did not know the manner of child she would get. Hannah asked she asked God not just for any child. We say give me anything. There's no child name anything. It's either a boy or a girl. He said, Lord, if you give me a boy child, I'll give him back to you. The Lord gave Hannah Samuel. She offered Samuel back to God. She never asked God to make Samuel a prophet or a judge. But the God who sent Samuel and ordained Samuel's days, Samuel became all that God ordained for him. Oh, Lord. So James was born. But hear what they said. If you accept certain sacrifices and conditions that we will give to you, we can help you. Bring seven cows for nine months. The day is born. You must bring him here before the, day go, the, 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 the sun goes down. He had been chosen by God. But yet the enemy 
have marked him from his birth for 24 years serving Satan and killing at will. You have been marked for greatness. You have been marked. Okay, the boat's sucking under. You have been marked by God for greatness. And there's a reason God is sharing this with us. Let's see. Go back to look for me. Go back down. Go down the verses. Go down to verse 10. Let me see something. Come. Somebody shout. This same Jeremiah. Somebody shout, I am chosen. Not Jeremiah. Look, 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 look. Eight. Eight, eight. Me 30 or something. That's what I'm following something. No, 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 Go down again. Give me 40. It doesn't write it down. Go ahead. Give me your 31. Go down to 9, verse 9. Chapter 9. Let me see something. I just didn't mark it. I just, my head. Shaka mande de mo sikandaya. Ah. Let's know. Oh, no, 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 no. Do you know that this Gadite? Go to verse 39, verse 8 for me. Please. This one who have been tormented by demons. 8, 39. No, no, I want to say something. Jesus said to that man after being freed, return to your own house and tell what great things God has done for you. And he went his way and proclaimed throughout the whole city what great things Jesus had done for him. He had been marked to be an evangelist from birth. This man. But yet chosen to be an evangelist. But watch the road. Joseph chosen by God from birth. But what? watch the journey. Watch the journey. I'm looking for. Let me find it. Let me find it. One second. Kanibala Sokunda. Somebody shout, I'm chosen. I am chosen. I am chosen. Kaila Magonele Katpaki Nolgota. I am chosen. Come, we need to go to prayer. So I just want to get something here. Shamali Kalbiando say. Come on, pray in the Holy Ghost with me. Kati Mama. Come on, Igama, your breakthroughs now. Pray. Shakendolo Soko Baba. Come on, pray. Bagana, gana. He that prays in an unknown tongue prays mysteries to men, not unto God. Pray. Jabola. Jabola Goda. Pray. Kinele gana la bosh. Nana mama mama de 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 go bosh. Right. Amen. I found it. Look. Chapter 8, verse 40. <laughs> oh, Lord. We are in the 12th month of the year. 12 as we know it to complete the cycle of 2023. There are many that think as a prophet that you should come here and prophesy 2023 according to what we expect. But there are many churches with prophets that come and say, and the Lord says, 2023, there's nothing wrong with that. But what I've found from God and he has taught me is this. I remember here I sought him for a word for the assembly. And he said this, he said, I want to tell you this. He said, if I've given you instructions, say in October or August, and you have not completed that. I'm not coming to give you any new word. Because it's a new year. I don't look at crossing over 2021 or 2022. He says when my will is fulfilled. I will do as I will. So because we have reached uh, the 12th month. The 31st day. We expect God just to drop what he has been doing with us. And start something new. That is not God. Again, that is not God. God wants his will fulfilled. He don't you know, bother whether it is the first of January. It matters not. Are you obeying his voice and what he told you? Have you obeyed him? Have you? Verse 40. So it was when Jesus returned 
that the multitude welcomed him for they were all waiting for him the man that he the demons were cast out of they ran him from that community he came back to where he was go ahead next verse and behold there came a man named Jairus and he was a ruler of the synagogue and he fell down at Jesus' feet and begged him to come to his house next verse for he had an only daughter somebody say only daughter about 12 years of age say 12 years 12 years of age and she was dying but as he went the multitudes thronged him he's on his way to deal a sick girl next verse now a woman having a flow of blood for 12 years somebody say 12 years who had spent all oh shit, Mark, had spent all her livelihood on physicians and could not be healed by any whether bush doctor water doctor whatever doctor she could not be healed by any next verse she came from behind and touched the border or the hem of his garment and immediately her flow of blood stopped let's go on some more and Jesus said who touched me when all denied it Peter and those with him said master you're unreasonable. The multitude throng and press you. And you say, who touched you? Who touched me? Next verse. But Jesus said, somebody touch me. That is amazing, you know. Because many persons were touching, were touching him. For I perceived power going out from me so there is a touch that can bring an extraction hello somebody next verse come 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 quickly no when the woman next go next she was healed immediately go on next verse right next verse right right here so the woman with the issue of blood got healed while he was still speaking someone came from the ruler of the synagogue's house saying to him your daughter is dead do not trouble the teacher we have gathered we have reached to the 10th the 12th month There are those of us who our situation doesn't seem dead. And there are those of us that the situation seems dead. Jairus came to him. He's heading to go and heal a young girl that is 12 years that is sick. On his journey to this girl he was intercepted the girl was 12 years the woman with the issue of blood was 12 years but two generations <laughs> one is young one have been going through a situation for 12 years on the journey to go to heal that child that woman who represented a could say you could say a previous generation that woman sought she saw something on Jesus that not even the disciples saw if they saw it they would have never asked master this she saw something because if you are hemorrhaging in those days you cannot go around any rabbi you are called unclean 
but she saw that there was something there it brings to mind in Luke when the Bible says that they were in a room together the Pharisees and Sadducees and all of them and there was a crowd outside but the Bible said that the power of God was present in the room with Jesus to heal some men who are outside in the crowd can sense that power and these men knew that they had a friend at home that was a cripple they, they wondering if we leave our spot we can lost it but they went and get their sick friend I wish we had friends like that they let they sense the power of God they did not bring their friend they let that and went and get their friend when they came back they have lost their space they could have decided that this is not his deliverance so they must they said no 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 there must be some way to get him into that presence and they decided to go up in the roof up the steps and burst through the roof and let their friend down and he got his deliverance on his way Jesus is going he's willing to heal the sick child but this woman is seeing power around him when men are looking for arguments she stepped in there and withdrew a deposit and she was healed 12 years spent all she had one second healed by Jesus but while he's on his road you see somebody said God's delay somebody else said God's delay is not his denial he was delayed by that woman but then enemy sent and says she's dead let's go further Makitosa your daughter is dead do not trouble the master but when Jesus heard it he answered the one and, the, and he answered him and said saying do not be afraid only believe and she shall be but she's dead she shall be made well your situation thus far may have been a hemorrhaging it may have been a physical situation or it could have been a spiritual situation that you have not kept a job in the last 12 months your marriage may be in tatters at this moment you may feel as if there is no help you have tried you have tried you are trying to get your own home for years and only promises but that woman with the issue whatever it will cost her she pressed forward through the crowd she just needs to get close to him and she persevered until she received her deliverance will you persevere until you receive yours are you determined to receive yours somebody shout hallelujah Ah, Shabagunianda. Next verse. When he came into the house, he permitted no one to go in except Peter, James, and John. And the father and mother of the girl that was dead. One 12 years bleeding didn't die. One 12 years young died dead 12 years young die 12 years of that lady's life she was bleeding she did not die sometimes a man get 10 bullets and live you know sometimes you get one cut and you're dead next verse now all wept and mourned for her but he jesus said do not weep she's not dead but sleeping I wonder if you are hearing what God is saying your situation may seem as if it's dead you have heard that you'll never get alone you have heard that your marriage will never be restored you have heard 
that you will stay barren, it seems dead. But let's touch somebody and tell them it's just sleeping. <laughs> touch somebody. Tell them it's just sleeping. Moms, it's just sleeping. It's just sleeping. It's just sleeping. It's not dead. It's not dead. The promises of God are here. And amen. Just sleeping. Just sleeping. Just sleeping. Next verse. Come. I want to go pray. Mama, go next. Sir. And they ridiculed him knowing according to their belief it's dead. How many persons tell us how many times your mother never had a house? Were you trying to get a household? But your mother never married? And she had 20 children. What? Who you doing married? They ridicule him. Trying to measure you with your past. Trying to measure you to measure you with their understanding. Next verse, come. But he put them all outside. Somebody just put them outside. Just put them outside. The naysayers, the blockers, the jealousers, put them outside. Those who hinder, put them outside. Those who block you, put them outside. Put them outside. Eliab, David's brother says, I know your haughtiness and all of that. David ignore him. David said it's the other cause. You have to learn to ignore the naysayers. Hello, somebody. Put them all outside, took her by the hand, and called, saying, Little girl, <laughs> arise. You see, Jesus does things differently. The woman, she took her healing. I wonder how many of you are willing to take your restoration tonight? He did not have to speak. But one thing would come on with both of them is that Jesus was present. Hello, somebody. You have reached your 12th year, your 12th month, 2023. Two scenarios. You have been waiting for years for an answer. But the thing is, the Lord is present. <laughs> Whether for your thinking of a dead situation, or a situation that you are struggling is present to heal and restore. He put them all out and said to the little girl, Talita Kumai, little girl, arise. Next verse. Then her spirit, so the Bible is confirming that she was dead, physically. Her spirit returned and she arose immediately. Somebody says suddenly. Somebody shout my suddenly. My suddenly is here tonight. My now is here tonight. My breakthrough is here tonight. If that is you, jump to your feet and shout tonight. If that person is you, jump to your feet and shout it may have been 12 years it may have been blood flow it may have been death but yet in the midst of it my God shall supply all my needs my God is the same yesterday he's the same today he's the same forevermore somebody shout I am chosen one more time I am chosen I am chosen by God somebody shout hallelujah one more time hallelujah hallelujah you are chosen by God Kahim Bolasha just take your seats a second. Let's organize ourselves. 10, 15. I want to pray with most persons that we can. But the Lord wants to let you know this tonight. Maybe you are here and you have never sought to give your life to God. You 
believe that, make your toast, Amanda. In the midst of your struggles, you believe that by your wisdom, you have been overcoming. Yet there are many things you have not overcome as yet. You may even be a believer here tonight. You have visited regularly. Maybe even be a member. But in your heart, you know that you don't really believe, you don't really believe God. For the first set of persons tonight, You are seeing what is happening in the earth, not just Trinidad and Tobago. In Israel, Palestine, most people are forgetting Ukraine, Russia. We are seeing what is happening so close to us with Venezuela and Guyana. We cannot take for granted tomorrow because the only person that holds tomorrow in their hands is God. Many have trusted in horses and chariots. We have found that horses can drown and chariots can be destroyed. If you're here tonight, maybe the first time you have stepped in a church since birth, some persons, enemy have lied to them to make them think that church is evil. But yet stepping into a church for your offering up, Sometimes you come in for your first communion. And since that, the enemy have told you that you have sinned too much. If you walk into church, you'll just drop down dead. But you are not dead. <laughs> because he came to give life. And you being here tonight is because God, yes, someone may have invited you. Like someone called me yesterday. They have been calling me since in November. She said, I just knew. She said, it's past. I need to baptize. I said, why do you want to baptize? She said, I just want to make it right with God. And I went to explain to her that baptism and salvation are two different things. I said, God gladly baptize you. But what are you being baptized into? Who are you being offered to? As a baby, when we were taken and baptized in whatever faith, did we have an input in being baptized? Jesus being the full example was baptized at an age of reason. You know who you are being baptized into. So I told her it's more than baptism. Salvation is much more important than baptism. So while you live, you can be baptized, yes. The Bible says, if you confess with your lips, believe in your heart, that God raised Jesus from the dead, you shall be saved. The two thieves on the cross, the one that was invited into paradise was not baptized. He didn't have an opportunity to be baptized. But what he did, he confessed Jesus as Lord. And because he did that, he was invited. So tonight, with all our eyes closed, let's close your eyes with me a second, please. I know there are many of us who have tasted from childhood. Many of us have heard many prophecies about our lives. You have heard about James. James at 24 years. He was married to a witch from the first day. He was a 60 year old witch. Married to her. His mother took him not realizing it's a wedding ceremony. And when she took him back into the forest... And they did their rituals. They told her, remember this baby is now a married man. You are not allowed to breastfeed him. She said yes and smiled in her heart. And when she reached home, she's going to feed her son. And she rest him down on her bed and turned around to do something and turned back and saw a huge python snake that stayed with him for months. She could not feed him. No one could go near him. But yet you have been chosen. You have been chosen. You have gotten yourselves into a lot of stuff. Sometimes we don't even know how you reach there. But here, yet, 
God have allowed you to pass this way tonight. The Spirit of the Lord is inviting you back to Him tonight. While you live, there's a chance. While you live, there's a chance. The dead knows not what happens tomorrow. There's no purgatory. None. To be absent from the body. So tonight, wherever you are, whoever you are, the Lord is calling. I want the saints to pray in the spirit. Come on, just pray softly in the spirit. There's a warfare that is raging now. We need to pluck our brothers and sisters out. Kalima Mamagana. Just as the both situations, Jesus was present. He's present tonight. Will you say, Lord, me? Will you say, Lord, me? I need you. Maybe you have plans for Carnival 2024. Are you sure you will live for that? Maybe you have a lime tomorrow, 2024, first day. Are you sure you'll complete that day? The Spirit of the Lord is calling you. You have been chosen by God. Yes, the enemy intercepted. But he can delay, but he cannot block you. The Lord is calling. Aikebo Shakamanda. I'm feeling faith rising in persons here. If that person is you and you're bold enough, just lift your hands, lift your hand. If you want to make it right with God, just lift your hand. Makobo Shakamanda. There's faith rising in this place. Makoto Koma Shakana. If that person is you, God is talking to you, just lift your hands wherever you are. The Spirit of the Lord is talking to you. He's talking to you. He said, enough is enough. He's saying, is enough is enough. You have been suffering with severe headaches. Severe pains are known. If that person is you, lift your hands unto God. Shaka baka bukona. Nake bono go nasa. More than your hand, he's in your heart. He you know your needs. Shaka bo shekenda. You could have been anywhere else tonight. You could have been anywhere else. But he brought you here. He's telling you. I brought you home, son. Son, daughter, I brought you home. I've been searching for you. As the son and prodigal living, I've been looking for you daily. I've been waiting to put my ring on your hand and my robe on you to kill the fatted calf for you. Today is a day of your celebration. The angels want to celebrate because the son have returned. The daughter have returned. Will you lift your hand with me? Wherever you are, lift your hand. If you are that person or persons that God is talking to, maybe you are backslidden. Maybe you feel as if you are very far from God. If you are any one of those categories, just stand with me. Wherever you just stand with me. Just stand. There's something that God is doing. God is securing your future tonight. He's securing your future tonight. Will you stand up wherever you are? You feel as if things are not, the ends are not meeting. You feel frustrated. You feel alone. You feel lonely. With that person, you stand very well. The person, you stand. To every person that is standing, know that God sees your heart. And tonight, this last hour on our own some minutes he's willing to restore you are you willing to give him all the struggles that you have are you willing to trust him again so that he can trust you again every person stand and close your eyes with me those around us, stretch your hands towards everybody that's standing. So first to those who have never given your life to the Lord. This is the best decision you will ever make. Father, tonight. So those who have never done it, I would like you to say after me. Because the Bible says that if you confess with your lips and believe in your heart, you shall be saved. 
So say after me. Say, Father in heaven, I come to you today. I believe that you raised Jesus from the dead. I now accept Jesus as my Lord and my Savior. Lord Jesus, lead me by your Spirit. I am yours and you are mine. You are mine. Thank you, Thank you. For, saving me. for saving me. Thank you, Thank you. For, trusting me. for trusting me. I am yours. I am yours. Amen. Amen. Just like that. From the heart, belief. From the lips, confession. The Bible says when one sinner returns to God, the angels of God rejoice. Let's just thank God for those who have given their lives to God. To all those who are giving their lives to God for the first time, after we service is over, I want to give your names to, 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 to Desiree in white, sitting right there. Right, Those who are giving their lives to the Lord for the first time. So those who have done that, now you need a place of worship, the place to grow in God. Right? You need a place to, to bond. A place where the Holy Spirit is preached and Jesus is preached. That's one. You need also to let someone know what you did tonight. Because these vows that you just made are more important than the vows you would make to your wife on the wedding day. Or your husband on the wedding day. So you tell someone you also need the love letter from God, a Bible. And then you also need to be baptized. While you have chance on the earth, you need to baptize. Because we follow Jesus. And what Jesus did. Amen? Amen. So to those who have done it for the first time. To those who are standing, who knew, you know that it seems as if things are not the way it should be. You know that there are certain mixed mistakes that have been consistent. Where you and all have even questioned your Christianity. Because maybe in frustration you probably have used obscenity or whatever. And you have questioned it. The Lord's arms are open wide because he said that he's married to the backslider. But the thing is, are you willing to be true to yourself? He asked Adam, Adam, where are you? Not because he did not know where Adam was. But because he wanted Adam to know where he have slipped to because of sin. So to everyone that is standing outside of those that have just given their lives to the Lord, I want you to say after me. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus I, thank you I thank you for forgiving me. For forgiving me. I thank you, I thank you for, being for being my strength and my song. And my song. Tonight, Tonight, I recommit my life, my life back into your hands. Back into your hands. I, trust you. I trust you. I pray, oh God, I pray, oh God that, your trust that your trust will continue, will continue to, be built to be built in me, in me and for me. And for me. Oh, Lord, oh Lord, I thank you, I thank you for, restoring me for restoring me tonight. tonight. In, Jesus name. in Jesus' name. Somebody say amen. Somebody, let's just thank God for a moment. Amen. 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 So to those who, for the first time, everybody for the first time giving their lives to the Lord, let's raise your hand with us a second. For the first time. Those who are for the first time, the others could sit. Anybody for the first time? No? Okay, for the first time, no. Good. All right. Um, wow. There's a grace here so strong. I want to pray. I don't know how to pray. I don't know what to pray. But we need to pray. Ah. What time is it? Half past ten, man. We have time, man. <laughs> um, Makido Sik Ambala. Oh, communion. Will you do communion after? Koleo Shebongana. I'm chosen. I'm chosen. 
Him. Choose Him. Let's just pray in the Spirit for a moment. Come on, pray. So keep my mama, mama. You know what I want? I want the worship team to come for a moment. Just worship. Let's worship songs a couple moments. Right? And then I'll go into just a moment. Just a moment. Shaka Mandogonia. Just a moment. Come. Just a moment. Watch everything come. Let's throw into some spontaneous things a moment. Shake to come back. Come. If you want to sit, you can sit. If you want to stand, you can stand. But there's something that God is doing that I don't want to interrupt. Let's pray in the Holy Ghost. Shake him on. Look at the end. Look at the end. Look at the Your breakthrough is here tonight. I feel a level of freedom that have taken place already. By the Spirit of God, there's a freedom. I don't know if you all sense it, it, but there's a freedom that has taken place in this place that is amazing. Shocking one again.
memories to me it was the year 2010 it was a communion service where I refused to take the emblems of the Lord but I felt a burning on the inside and it was the call of Lord the Lord upon my life to surrender and to submit and I fought it the line was getting shorter and shorter and the burning that was so uncomfortable, it increased. I got up off my seat and I, take, I took the walk of repentance. I took the walk of surrender. I took the walk of in, an enactment of a new covenant with God. And I can tell you from that Easter 2020, 10 to today, this is the product of that new covenant this is your opportunity 
where you can surrender your life to the life of Jesus Christ. This is what his, his body represents. It represents his life to be lived by you, his life alone. So when you partake of his body tonight, tell yourself, I'm walking into 2024 as a brand new man. I'm walking into 2024 to not live as I used to, but to live according to the ways of the body of Christ. Partake of his body tonight. This blood is what washes and makes the vilest sinner clean. We heard about the woman 12 years with the issue of blood. We heard about the daughter, a 12 year old young girl who died. And that's the purpose of this blood. To take away the infirmity, to take away the demons, to help you with the struggle, to wash you, to make you clean. This is your opportunity tonight. Are you gonna cross over with the heavy burdens, the dead weight, the decays, the struggles. When you take the blood tonight, ask him to purge you. But the Lord said, I'm giving you my blood tonight in a dual capacity. Because after you have taken it and I've done the purging and I've done the cleaning, my blood is always, is also a highway to ascension, a highway to intimacy with the one who sent you to the earth according to the purpose that he has ordained for you. So think about these two things. It's the purging and it's the beginning of a new journey. That's the way he's going to take us over into 2024. Leave the dead weight, the struggles from 23 and before, right here, right now. But when you step over, you step over as a brand new, threshing, clean instrument, a vessel of honor. That's the love of God to you tonight. Partake of the blood and let these words sink into your soul. That 24 will be a new beginning. A beginning of purging, consecration. Set apart in this, living for God and God alone. Guys, yeah, thank you. May I have a seat a sec? As those we prepare for the tithes and offering, what I want to do tonight, right after we finish with the tithes and offering, I want to pray with everyone that is willing to stay to be prayed with and anointed. I'm going to anoint you and birth you. Do not keep you, those who are anointed. At this time, as the ushers prepare themselves, uh, we have, um, you also have, we have two, two offerings. We pick up one, tithes and offerings, and the second one for the building fund. We are leaving this location. I want to say it again. We are leaving this location. We are leaving Egypt. We are going into the promised land. There's so much more awaiting us out of this location. Amen? So the first offering is tithes and offering. So as they prepare that, um, key, that's it. Online? Okay, online. To those online, um, God bless you. I know that we have not crossed over yet. But yet in some nations, persons have crossed over a long time. So those on Facebook, Zoom, YouTube, we wish you a happy new year. Pray that you'll join us, not just online, that we'll see what you look like physically in the new year. Amen. I think our next service is next Monday. Our next service, Wednesday, Bible study. And then Saturday again, um, Wednesday, Saturday. Yeah. Yeah, Wednesday Bible study. 
Amen. So God bless you, Facebook, Zoom, YouTube.